Hey guys, hi, Brent Ebel here, Web Tennis. I want to get into uh, singles this week, and specifically, I want to talk about all the various types of approach shots we've got. And, uh, you know, let's just kind of get it off the table here real quick. I mean, one of the reasons that we, that we want to approach is because it puts a lot of pressure on our opponents to have to come up with perfect passing shots all the time. You saw some serve and volley clips. Here's a short ball that you can, uh, you know, come in behind, play an approach shot. Same thing with this one. This is a slice approach, stays down low, gives you a volley opportunity. Um, and, you know, again, the real key here is that you're forcing your opponent uh, in so many different ways to have to pass you. And yeah, from time to time you're going to get passed, but the reality is is that you're going to win a majority of these points individually, but you're also going to put a ton of pressure on your opponent to have to, you know, not give you anything short. On these little second serve, chip and charge kind of drop shots, you know, you're, you're, you're going to get some, uh, you're, you're going to get some uh, double faults. This one's a great clip here of where we see a baseline rally, and then we play a little dropper. Uh, Ken Coke plays a little drop shot as the approach. Uh, and this is another common example where we don't really, uh, I think, uh, take enough advantage where we get someone pulled wide and then we uh, rob them of their time. And one of my favorites is the loop approach come in and you play the volley or the overhead for the winner. So right below in the comment section, I want to hear from you. You know, which one of the various drop shots do you wish was really a much better part of your game? Let me know below. Have a great day.